everyone, welcome to my channel, the Tiara Aura. I'm Aditi, and here on this channel, we are always creating some amazing good vibes. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to make a comfy kaftan to lounge in from this cotton sari. It is very simple and easy, so let's get started. First of all, I'm going to start with cutting about a 2 inch strip from the end of the sari to make the drawstring for the kaftan. You can either follow this method or use any other ribbons or string to create the drawstring. Cut this strip and now I'm going to divide it in half and cut it to get 2 pieces. I have got 2 pieces of this string and we're going to keep this aside. To make the cutting and pattern making process easier, I am going to explain the cutting using this piece of paper. We are going to assume that this piece of paper is this 5.5 meter sari. So the first step I am going to do is fold it in half. I am going to use double layers so that I don't have to use lining and the kaftan can become opaque. After folding it in half lengthwise, I am going to fold it again into half. So in total we have got 4 layers. Next, I'm going to fold it vertically so that one side is open and one side is on fold. Then I'm going to get the measurement for the neckline. You can keep it how much ever deep you want. Now on the sari, I'm going to take the on fold side, the one which is folded and here I'm going to mark the measurement of the neckline from here to here, how much ever you have measured. And then I'm going to draw the neckline. You can use any shape for the neckline you wish. You can make a V shape or a U shape. Now I'm going to go to the sari and repeat this entire pattern making process same way on the sari. I have folded and placed the sari as I had shown on the paper. So this is our on fold side and here I'm going to mark the neckline according to my measurement. For the width of the neck, I'm going to mark 3 inches which includes the seam allowance for the finishing. And the depth of the neck is 7 inches, so I'm going to mark 7 inches down. Now I'm going to connect these two dots by making a U shape freehand. I have marked this U shape and now I'm going to cut it out using my scissors and I'm going to leave half an inch for the seam allowance inside. I have finished cutting the neck out and now I am going to go to my sewing machine and to finish this neck I am going to double fold this and make a stitch here to finish the raw edges. You can also hand stitch this, only thing is it's going to take a lot of time. While I am going to do double stitch on the neckline to finish it, I am also going to take the bottom of the sari and finish the raw edges with double fold. double stitching the raw edge at the neckline and also at the bottom. Step we have to stitch one side of the kaftan but we need to keep in mind that we need to leave space for the armhole. So from the shoulder I'm going to mark 8 inches on one side so that it is total 16 inches and then I'm going to leave this part and stitch rest of it with a straight stitch from top to bottom. Mark 8 inches here to leave for the armhole so that in total it is 16 and then stitch the rest of it to the bottom. I have made this mark at 8 inches. Now leaving this, I am going to stitch the rest of it from here all the way so to leave this gap and then stitch rest of it. Next step is to measure where the waist of the kaftan will gather. So I am going to take the measurement from the shoulder to the waist. For me, I am going to make the waist at about 14 inches. You can customize it however you want. After measuring where I would like the waist to be, I am going to mark it on my kaftan. So we come back to the paper. This is the neckline. This is the shoulder. So I am going to mark 14 inches down from the shoulder and create a line. This line for the waist down at 14 inches, I hope that it is visible. It's this line. 
So for the next step, we are going to take the unstitched side of the kaftan, which we have not stitched yet, and we are going to create a unstitched side. So here, we are going to take one side, and I'm going to fold it right at this line, like this. This is how the tunnel is going to be made. I'm going to mark at about 0.5 or 0.75 below the line and then I'm going to stitch it all the way through to create this tunnel so that we can put the drawstring and create the waist for our kaftan. I have finished stitching this tunnel at the waist following our line all throughout the kaftan, front side and the back side. This is how it is going to look. And now I'm going to explain how to stitch the other side. This is how it is going to look when you have created the tunnel for the drawstring throughout the it's time to stitch the other side of the kaftan. So how we are going to stitch it? Again, I'm going to leave 8 inches over here the same way we had left on this side for the armhole. And then I'm going to start stitching below the 8 inches. I'm going to stitch till here. Leave the space where we have created the tunnel. Remember that we do not have to stitch on the tunnel. We are going to leave the space and then we are going to continue stitching all the way to the bottom. This is the unstitched side. So here from the shoulder, I'm going to mark 8 inches for the armhole. I have got this 8 inch mark. This is what we are not going to stitch and we are going to leave this for the armhole space. From here, down, I'm going to stitch till the tunnels like this. Remember, you don't have to stitch on the tunnel, otherwise you won't be able to put your drawstring through. So leaving the space of the tunnel, I'm going to stitch below these tunnels all the way to the bottom of the kaftan. A straight stitch to finish this. This is where my 8 inch mark is. So I'm going to make all the layers even and start stitching from here. So this is the 8 inch mark. I'm going to start stitching from there and stop right at where our tunnels are. So this is where the tunnels are. I'm going to leave this much space. So we go right up till the tunnels. Stop and back stitch. So now I have stitched from the 8 inch mark right to the tunnels. I'm going to skip this much space and then from below the tunnels, I'm going to continue stitching this all the way to the bottom. I have finished stitching both sides of the kaftan. This is how our tunnels will look. They will be separate like this. Now it is time to create the drawstring. I have joined the two strips which we had cut initially so that I have got one long strip now. To make this string, I'm going to fold both the corners in the center first this way and then fold it in half and then stitch it all the way at the open corner so that I get this string. You can either use this method or use another ribbon or any other decorative string for your kaftan. Finish stitching up this string. I have taken my kaftan and folded it into half so that I can mark the center front on here at the center front where I have made the mark on the tunnel. I'm going to carefully make a small slit so that we can pull our string through this. One end of the string, I'm going to attach the safety pin. And then I'm going to feed this string through the tunnel of our kaftan. I have finished passing the string through the kaftan all the way. Now I'm going to add these beads to the end of these strings to decorate it. I have tied a knot at the bottom of the string to keep the beads in place and then I'm going to do the same on the other side. So I have added up these beads to the end of the string and now our kaftan is ready so let's try it on and see how it
sorry it turned out to be pretty cute i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and you will try this out put some of your old sarees to use if you did enjoy this simple tutorial give this video a like subscribe to my channel for more such fun things also ring the notification bell i will be back again with another very simple fashion diy do share this video with everybody who loves and enjoys making diy fashion and clothing and don't forget to put on your tiaras and keep creating good vibes in this world until then peace and a lot of love thank you thank you for watching bye bye see you soon